Hi guys, it's Mary with Stamps and Lingers, and it is Saturday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, which means it's time for a video on my Stamps and Lingers Facebook page. So let me go ahead and be sure that I am transmittalating. And for those of you who were here on Thursday, I have had way less coffee today, so <laughs> in theory I won't be quite as, uh, you know, nuclear powered as I was the other day. All right, it looks like we're transmitting and we've got some folks joining. Hello, everyone. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Tish. Hi, Rosie. Appreciate y'all joining. Donna, Mary, Jean. Hey, Jean. I'm going to do your ink pad thing first so that I don't forget, okay? Because I don't want to forget. Hey, Barbara. Hi, Pam. Hey, Julie. Appreciate you joining tonight. Karen, Faith. Thank you. I like how it kind of pops against that black. The new... Uh, Rainbow Glimmer Paper is crazy. Hi, Linda. Hey, Daryl. Hey, Valerie. Holly. All right. Everybody's scrolling through really fast. So um, this is the card we're making, and it has a couple of new things in it, as well as a couple of... Uh, hi, Barbara. Appreciate you watching live. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Robbie from Arizona, where it's cool and beautiful right now. It is not cool or beautiful here. It is icky. Let's just say it is wet like a wet wash rag hits you in the face when you step outside. But that's neither here nor there because the air conditioning is working good. All right, so let me show you the couple of things that we have new. This is the Massive Thanks stamp set. And from the very moment I saw the sentiments in this, I just loved it. Uh, I used this one today that where it has thank you with the little asterisk. And then on the inside it says message on the cover may appear smaller than actual gratitude. I love that. I like, this isn't just a thank you card, it's a hug with a fold in the middle. You're one of the good ones, I'm one of the thankful ones. And this one is a little card for the front, massive thank you on the inside. So this is an awesome thank you stamp set. I want everybody to get it right away. It's really good. Then we have the carrying over to a wild rose set, which is coordinating with the wild rose dies. All right. And then, of course, some stitch nested labels. Now, we're going to try something. There's an old adage that I just made up right now that you should never try something you're unfamiliar with on a Facebook Live video. So that is what I'm going to do today. Um, so I make no promises about how it's work. it will work. It's worked a few times for me. It's also failed a few times. So I guess we're going to see how it goes. Uh, Jean, where are you where the wind is so bad? My mom just told me um, she lives in Bailey, Colorado, and she and her dog actually went to the basement today because of a red warning that came across her phone, and she's up at 8,500 feet. So you just, unless it's a wildfire, you just don't get those. So that was um, interesting. Weird, weird weather for that part of the world. All right, so... Let me, before we get started, I was asked if I would demonstrate, if I would show how to re-ink one of the pads. So I want to do that first because I don't want to forget to do that and screw it up. Yes, the old adage is, is old, like me, but we're going we're gonna to try it, right? Yeah. Oh, Jennifer, are you in Colorado? Yeah, it, it looked like it was going to be a squally kind of day there. Hey, Fran. Okay, so I'm using Mango Melody. Obviously, this works um, for any of them. And this is this is how I do it. All right, so I just open it up and I take my reinker. One, probably the m most important part of reinking is making sure you pick the correct reinker for the ink pad. Because, you know, just saying. This would look really weird with, you know, like Bumblebee on it. And then I, I just dot all over it, like so. Depends on how unjuicy I am. If I really am needing juicy, I do a bunch of dots. And if I'm not, I do fewer. And then I take, I take my bone folder. Some people use a credit card or just a straight edge of some sort. And I just go back and forth like this. And you just kind of keep doing it all over the surface of the ink pad until it's all worked down into the foam. Easy and also pretty peasy. And you just do it like this. Second most important thing to do is clean off your bone folder, especially if you have any intention of, um, you know, I 
Daryl. Thank you, Daryl. You're you're all ready to laugh at me when it fails. I got it. I, I hear you, but that's okay. I'll laugh too, and then we'll all be laughing together, and it'll be okay. So that is how I ink an ink pad, and I do the same exact for my memento. And the only reason I bring that up is because this is one of the. Um, it's the linen pad, right? So it's a little bit different pad um, fabric, but I do the same thing. Okay, did that help, Jean? I hope. Okay, I hope, I hope. With me, there you go. We're all gonna laugh together. Wi-Fi is a little sketchy in the campground. Okay, <laughs> see you, Robbie. All right, so here is what we're gonna do. You'll be glad to know this I'm just gonna tell you straight up this we're gonna try to do the press and seal method okay because can you see here that those middles are popped up not the leaves I didn't do the leaves I just did the flowers but you can see that the leaf the petals are popped up now true statement this is a small enough die that you could probably cut it and then just put the pieces back but like what if you thought you might want to do the many layered blooms die? If you did that and tried to pop these up, whew, you'd be having some, that would be like a serious, serious effort, okay? But that's what I did. Basically, I did the press and seal method on a piece of black cardstock, and then I added the white boundary, and I'm going to show you how to do that, and then I fussy cut it so that I could um, adhere this without adhering it directly to the card front. You could, in fact, do this the way I'm going to show you on, on just your basic card front. Before I get going, though, let me show you this glimmer paper that is so gorgeous. Hang on just a second. I wanted to show you the other piece of it as well. All right. And you can see I've already cut out of it. Look at how pretty this is. It comes like this. It's a 12 by 12 sheet. So it comes like this. And just like our other glimmer papers, this glitter stays smack dab on the paper. But isn't that beautiful? It's uh, Granny Apple Green, Bermuda Bay, Rich Razzleberry, Magenta Madness, and Melon Ma Mango. So I, I just think it's gorgeous. I anticipate using quite a bit of it. Yes, Sue, I have no idea how they did that. Um, how they came up with it, but it really does work, I guess, and we're going to see if I can make it work here today. Now, I have already done a little pre-cutting because otherwise we'd be here until Tuesday of next week, so I've already got some pieces and parts together. Um, my white are just the... Um, this die, which is the basic die for this whole card, and I did put the Whisper White on it adhesive sheets before I cut it out so this has an adhesive backing and that's going to help us here in just a second okay so let's go ahead and get started I'm going to start putting the card together first and then we'll um, play with the we'll play with the press and seal and see what we get speaking of seal I have some of the new stamp and seal you know we have two new adhesives the stamp and seal is the snail replacement, so it is the lesser adhesiveness strength. And then there's Stamp and Seal Plus, which is more like old Fast Fuse. For those of you who've been around long enough to know about Fast Fuse, um, this is about like that. All right, so we're going to, um, this is just a piece of basic black, and I've got some Melon Mambo. And what I did is I cut a stitched nested label die out of the center because you're, it's going to be hidden so you can't see anyway. So I'm going to adhere this to my Melon Mamba. It has a cap. You should take it off. It'll work a lot better. And I'm making check marks, but you really don't have to. I, it kind of was a natural thing for me to just do that. You don't need to do it with this new... I'm, I'm liking it. Um, so I'm going to use it for a while and see see how it goes. All right, and then because it's kind of got a little narrower border, I'll use my liquid glue to adhere my, uh, this is, have I been saying Melon Mambo? I do not mean Melon Mambo. I mean Mango Melody. Jeez. Okay, we're going to just put that right over the top. 
where it goes is not as important as that it is straight. And then I'll take that die cut from the basic black that I cut out earlier, and we'll put it in the middle here, okay? This was for the Case This Sketch Challenge, so that's kind of the genesis of this design. Hi, Linda. Hi, Belinda from Washington State. Where in Washington? I have to ask. Okay. All right, so the layout for this card is going to be some leaves and some flowers and a sentiment. And then I'm gonna use, look at these beautiful flowers that you get that I'm only barely using this time, but look how pretty these are cut out with that wild rose or the wild rose dye from that glimmer paper. Isn't that, are they just gorgeous? I just think they're the prettiest darn things. Um, so we're going to uh, go ahead and adhere a couple of these. And I should have had one more, but I don't know where it went. So, you know, we'll maybe have to cut another one, but that's okay. Okay, so now let's let's do it, guys. Let's just do it, Mary. Just do it. What is the worst that could happen? Just do it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, we're going to cut... What I want is um, one more flower in this range right here of the colors. So we'll go ahead and set up our platform. Now I played around with it. I can tell you that I had some issues with, you can see how crazed my uh, mat is, my cutting pad, but that's just kind of is what it is. So. Um, we're gonna try it and see what we get. Okay, so I'm going to, that's kind of the color tones I want. So, I'm going to cut it out. And sorry if this wiggles the table. I don't know why I said if, because it absolutely will wiggle the table. Moses Lake, AKA Ash Capital. Hmm. Okay, I'm just doing a couple three times because I want a good cut. And then we'll put this aside. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to take a piece of my seal stuff, my new craft goodies, and I am going to very gently lift this up. It should come right off. Where's my tweezers? Well, here's it. Here we go. And I may need to just kind of push these out. What I really want is for the die to come up, but everything to stay in place. Okay. Okay. And that worked pretty good. Just kind of put that back in its spot right there. Okay, and then, you know, um, this press and seal stuff has one side that is sticky and one side that is not. So, mm, it would be a really better day. What a nice card to do on a day we're cutting that big table. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I was thinking that, I was like, Mary, you should have done a stamp on a, on a piece of cardstock and called it a day. Okay, so I've got the sticky side down, duh. And I'm just really giving that a good rub because when I pick it up, I want all those pieces to stay on the stampins, on the present seal. And it looks like they're doing it, so we can get rid of that. Okay, now, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna dimensionalize my little chads okay and i'm going to use black stampin dimensionals and i'm going to use minis and it's a little persnickety so you know just get ready this is not a beginner card right it's just not a beginner card this is a card for someone who is relatively or let me rephrase it's not a beginner card unless it's a beginner person who is willing to take a little time to go through it. So I am using full size mini dimensionals where I can. And then if I need them, I'll cut one in half. Be 
because I do want to dimensionalize everything. Hey, Susan. Appreciate you joining, even with a slow computer. So I'm taking a mini. And so again, like I said at the beginning, this particular flower, this method is probably overkill for. Okay, so we're kind of doing it just so you can see the method. Because once you learn it, then you can use it on any dye that fits the bill, like um, the many layered blossoms, or maybe the new sunflower dye would be cool. I think that would be really cool. Um, the black dimensionals are quite handy, especially with the black background. Now I've set my, there they are, good lord. I'm gonna lose those how many times? Somebody put money on how many times I'd lose my tweezers today. Put that there. And then I'm going to get one more and cut it a little unevenly so I've got just a little place. Or not. Well, we'll put this part right here. And then we'll get one more little tiny piece. Four times, Linda? You are generous. It will probably be more like 40 times. Yeah. <laughs> So y'all know that Finn wears an electronic collar that just gives him a little bump when I need him to, rem to remember that he has to come back to me. And for three days, I could not find the controller, which essentially makes the collar just a collar. So I asked Sonia yesterday when she was here if she would find it for me, if she would look for it. And she did, and it was under the pillow that's on my chair. <laughs> yeah, I've been sitting on it for three days. Hey, Sue. Appreciate you joining. Hi, Kathy. Appreciate you coming. And we're going to put that there. I think that is... Oh, I got one out. That's okay. It'll go right back in. It's going to behave itself. It's going to behave better than it has been. All right. So now I'm going to use my tweezer. You could also use your take-a-pick tool and use it to hold the pieces in place. Because probably the most critical piece right now is that you want those pieces to stay in place, right? And then I'm going to pick off all these little dimensional covers. All right. Finn probably did put it there. He's such a funny boy. He is. He was playing in the hose today in the barn. I tried to get pictures, but it really didn't work so good. So you aren't going to get to see it, but he's got a very wet face right now because he's been he was jumping and playing in the water all right so this is the persnickety part because you really want those to stay in, in place I suppose a person could make the argument that there's this is simple enough that if it comes off who cares you can just stick it right back in this little spot but I'm trying to show the technique not so much this particular flower does that make sense once you learn it, you can do it with any die. Obviously, the more pieces there are, the longer this part's going to take you. But it's really cool how it works out, so it's worth it's worth doing. Uh, come here now. Look, I'm just going to pick him up like this, and then I'm going to take off his cover. I'm going to stick this one back in where it goes going crazy this press and seal I'm gonna have to talk to them it's not holding as strong as it should uh, that's all right you guys see what I'm trying to do right you guys know the saying about the perversity of an inanimate object yeah and then if you can add the perversity of an inanimate object when you're on a video live with people there we go okay let's hold that down and get that off of there Mm -hmm. I will persevere if I if I'm here until 10 I'm gonna get this by golly <laughs> thank you thank you very much faith this is not one of those ones you'd make 12 of that is certain sure but I just love how this glimmer paper pops so beautifully against the black and I, I'm really wanting to make a card that just has the die, the, um, you know, these on it. 
I think that would be gorgeous, especially I may do it with the many layered blossoms with the glimmer paper. Okay, we're getting it now, people. We're getting it. Don't you worry. Our getting it ratio is beginning to overcome the not getting it ratio. And when the lifties outweigh the draggies, we're going to have liftoff. Okay. Here we go. This one's the last one, and then we're going to see the magic happen. Let's see the magic happen. Goodness gracious. There we go. Come on. Come on. There you go. Boom, chakalaka. Okay. Now, let's imagine, if you will, that this is a card front. Okay. In fact, what it is is just a piece of scrap black paper right now, cardstock, because this is going to be my backer. Okay. So that I can fussy cut it and then pop it up. Hey, Chris, appreciate you joining. All right, I need to sleep. It's 20 past midnight. Yes, you should go to bed, Donna. This will be on video tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so now all I'm going to do, it, because I don't care where it goes, because this is just a scrap piece, I'm going to give this a good rub. And then... I'm going to pick this up and then I'm going to pick up this and I'm going to save it because it's gorgeous. Okay, now look how cool this looks just all by itself. Wouldn't that be pretty? A couple of three of those around and maybe some leaves just like that. But let's... Let's do like Emerald would do and step it up a notch. So you remember that I had the same die cut in Whisper White with adhesive on the back. Okay, I'm gonna peel said adhesive. It's okay, Donna, don't be fascinated and lose any sleep because that's no good, that's no bueno. It will be on the video tomorrow. It'll be on my blog post, I promise. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this in place and you could use your take a pick tool or you can use your handy tweezers and you just push that down and since it has the adhesive on it you're done so you could if that was your card front you'd already have your your flower see how cool that looks with the popped up and because we use the black dimensionals against the black background it's it's completely hidden now I'm going to pick up my little flower center here because you don't want a black flower scent center. You're welcome, Sue. You probably already knew how to do this. Okay, I'm just putting a little glue there and then I just picked up the little chad so that it's got a colored center. Okay, now I'm going to cut this out and we'll be ready to put our card together. Now here's another little secret. Because I put it on a black backer and my card front is black, you don't want to get too, be too sloppy, but you also don't have to get too head up if you don't have a perfect fussy cut because it will really, truly disappear against that background. It will really, truly disappear. I want another leaf. My brain is thinking, where is my other leaf? But I will make another leaf. I have the technology. You know, the best thing about doing shares, especially the paper shares, is that you get to see all the designs. And I just got through um, cutting and distributing the, uh, uh, is it Pampered Pet? Is that the name of it? Pampered Pet. I think it's the Pampered Pet or it's the Playful Pet DSP. It's really cute, and it is um, it's multi-species. It's got it's got um, for kitties and dogs, so everybody will be happy. All right, so just trimming that out, and we'll get rid of that, and then let's go ahead and do a little layout here, shall we? So, when I made this card, it's for a rainbow, rainbows and sunshine is the theme. So I tried to kind of go in rainbow order, which means I needed my yellow at the top and then segue into the magenta and then 
go into this car this flower here and then we're gonna have some leaves like this and another one here now I did before you guys came I stamped my sentiment in um, Bermuda Bay and cut it with a small nested labeled die no Brooke this is not it is not it does have a grumpy cat but no you are this is not beyond your pay grade I promise trust me if I was just able to do that I promise you that you can do it and then we're gonna put one of these here and one over here like that and that's kind of gonna be our layout right there like so mm -hmm. I like it I like it I love it I want some more of it and I do think I um, pop these on dimensionals as well so we're, that's how we're going to do it okay Sarait, sarait. Okay, okay. And I'm going to use a little liquid glue. I could use the press and seal again. I suppose I could try that, but I have not, I have not had good success with that. And I, I just don't want to push my luck today. <laughs> the crafting gods are being sweet to me, so I'm just going to do how I know to do. Just going to do how I know to do. And let's put some uh, black dimensionals on here. I'm not that brave, Linda. And I'll go ahead and put my glue on there. Now you know I would normally take a picture, right? That's how I would do. I'm gonna adhere this with, with uh, liquid glue. Except I wanted it like this. There. Okay. Now we'll pop this on. <laughs> Night, Donna. I could, but I'm doing it the old fashioned way. I'm doing it the old fashioned way. Like that. Okay. Maybe when I hit 10 years as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'll try that, that technique. Okay. And then I'm going to do another dimensionalized one. Hey, Patricia. I love black stamp and dimensionals, don't you? Love them. You don't need them all the time, but then when you do need them, you need them. Which is my way of saying, if you need them, you need them, but if you don't, you don't, right? It's like your KitchenAid stand mixer. Don't need it every day, but when you do, you'd best have it, because you're going to want it. And then we're going to put this one in there like that. Come on, glue. If the glue's like, well, if you wouldn't leave me sitting open for 30 minutes, you'd you'd have a little better luck, Miss Mary. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna put some dimensionals on my card front. Thank you, Ann. Thanks, Sandra. Appreciate you joining. And I'm gonna do doubles because I've got some tall stuff right here. And we'll do another one right here. Like so. What I also like about this new, the new formulation of the glimmer paper, and I, new is kind of relative because it, they've been using this formulation for the last couple of years, but this new thing um, also lets you adhere to it, which is a really nice, that's really nice because before you really kind of couldn't 
so that's nice to be able to um, not have to make extraordinary compensations. <laughs> All right, so then we're gonna go here like so, just making sure it is straight. And that's our card front. Oh, I love it. Oh, I can tell that in the next year, I am gonna use a lot of this glimmer paper. I have got ideas just racing in my head. All right, so let's put this aside and we'll do our innards, our inside. And I'm going to use this second sentiment in Coastal Cabana. Where are you? Come here. No, Bermuda Bay. I said Coastal Cabana, but I meant Bermuda Bay. I know the dimensional population is flourishing. And I'm going to just double check my alignment. It looks to be pretty, pretty right on. So we'll just put him in the middle here. Like that. I love that sentiment. Message on the cover may appear smaller than actual gratitude. Um, and then what I did on the inside was just adhere some of those die cuts. And I need another, I've got to have, I just must have another leaf. It will not be complete without another leaf. So I'm going to cut a leaf, okay? Just hang tight. This is just a regular cut, so nothing, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Just pop out those little guys right there. And I'm going to put him in the corner. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Ha! You're welcome, Karen. Now you'll be thinking the dirty dancing theme all night. I don't even know what the dirty dan oh. And I had the time of my life, right? Yeah. And I had the time of my life. It's a good thing I'm a card maker, not a singer. Huh, because I suck at the singing thing. Now, if I'd have been a smart girl since I was making that special, what would I have done? Yes, it's true. I'd have put that adhesive strip sheet on the back. But I didn't, so I'm going to try to get a little glue right there because I didn't get any on there. There we go. Okay. You're welcome, Karen. <laughs> you got your order started for July now. <laughs> yeah, no, you need it right away, Brooke. It is, it's really beautiful. I, I thought it was going to be kind of, I don't actually know what I thought. Actually, what I thought was that it was going to be like five sheets, one of one color and one of another color and one of another color. So when I pulled it out of the box and saw that it was all of the colors blended together, I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. Okay. So we'll just use a little liquid glue here. I could also use a sponge dauber, but I'm not going to because that would be the easier way, and I prefer to do things hard. Mm -hmm. Need a little more because that one's going to kind of pop up into the corner a little bit. Now, you're probably thinking, what in the world is she going to do on the front of the envelope? And I can tell you I am not going to do a die cut because that just doesn't even make sense to me. But I have a plan. I have a plan. And you will see it shortly. If you stick with me, you will see it shortly. Now, just so you know, you guys I know are quite accustomed to me going going back and answering all the comments right away after a video. I may not get to that today because I want to get back to cutting paper. And I know that you guys want me to get back to cutting paper, too. See, here's the thing. Wayne is in North Carolina, so my usual cutter helper... Finn is not really good at cutting paper. I'm just I'm just throwing that out there. I mean, he's a great dog. Let's be real. He is a great dog, but he is not real good at cutting paper. 
All right, I may have to do a little fixing with my adhesive thingy. Who's it right there? Yeah. See, I didn't put the uh, the adhesive sheets on the back of these because these were my middles, and I didn't I didn't want those that adhesive on there. So we're just going to do that and then trim this off like so. And then we'll mat it up and put it in our card base and we'll be ready to do the envelope flap and be done We'll be done I say this to you, done Okay, get off of there. Oh, now I have a little piece of fin hair on there. Well, I'll get that off later. Okay, let's mat it up. Mat it, mat this booger. Mat it up. Where'd you go, Melon Mambo Matt? Melon Mambo Matt? No, it's not Melon Mambo. It's still not Melon Mambo. Why have I got Melon Mambo in my head? It's <laughs> Mango Melody. Mango Melody, Mary. Mango Melody. Mango Melody. Gosh, what a goofus. What a goofy goofus. I am a goofy goofus. Okay, there we go. And then into our, uh, there's what I did not bring. There we go. And I've got a piece of basic black for our card base. It briefly occurred to me as I was making this that it looked a little bit like a Halloween card. And then I decided, no, it's just, it's just elegant and all stunning and stuff. Yeah, it's all stunning and stuff. That's what I told myself. That is what I decided it was. And so that is what it is. It has no resemblance to a Halloween card at all. Mambo number five. That's not a song. That is not a song. Nice try though. You were trying to give me an earworm. That's just mean. I know I've given you a couple today, but that's just mean. All right. Now let's put some black dimensionales on here yeah okay it definitely looks a little halloweenish sorry i see it i see it i got it Ooh, i wonder wouldn't it be cool if there was like some halloween glimmer paper in the mini catalog that's coming out like in two months and you could make you could make die cut pumpkins wouldn't that be cool i think that would be neat doing this yeah Come on, Stampin' Up, are you listening to me? It is nothing like Halloween. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Nothing like Halloween. Nothing. All right. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. Okay, now for my envelope. Because I don't want to put die cuts on the front, what I did is I took my, uh, this is the Two of Wild Rose stamp set. And the Melon uh, Mango Melody. Good God. The mango melody dang it and some magenta madness the new one can you tell I got my ink pads this week Yay! so what I did here is I inked my large flower in uh, mango melody and then I took some of the magenta madness and just kind of pounced it onto the flower And that looks a whole lot, look at that. Okay, tip, do clean your stamp set between goes or you'll create like a rainbow ink pad, just saying. 
not t gonna tell you how I know that. But you know how I know that. And I think we're gonna do it again because I'm having a little f too much fun with it. Sorry. <laughs> All right, and we'll just do a little bit more and come down here. Like so. And then while I have it all out, let's go ahead. I did that on the envelope flap as well. Thank you, Alicia. Okay, now I'm going to close these before I get ink in places I do not want ink. And then I think I'll stamp a leaf in straight up granny apple green. That will be good enough right there. Okay. Dunske. We be dunske. All right. What do you think, you guys? I'm just tickled that the that it kind of worked while I had you on the video, because you never know. It's just these things that you just never know. Look at that. Pretty. You guys just get the rainbow glimmer paper. There's only two two or three sheets. There's two sheets. You need to just get a couple of packs. Trust me, you're gonna use a bunch of it. I promise you, because every time you use it, you're gonna think of another thing you could do with it. All right? The other one I absolutely positively want you to get right here is Massive Thanks. Best thank you set I've seen in a long time. All right? All right, guys, I really appreciate you spending part of your Saturday with me, and I will see you hopefully on Thursday at one on my YouTube channel. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye. Good night.